everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert a LaTeX document, and you can see the output of the LaTeX document here on the left of my screen, to a Word document very easily with a software called Pandoc. Pandoc is free and open source, and you can install it from their website for free. Here on the left side, you can see the source code of my LaTeX document. This uh, source code is uh, creating this uh, PDF, that is the PDF that I showed you before, which is this PDF here. And then we can convert this PDF into a Word document using Pandoc, using just a few lines of uh, code. Okay, so if you want to find out how to do that, just follow along with me and I will show you all the steps necessary to convert your latest document to Word. The first thing that we need to do is uh, to go on uh, Pandoc website and install Pandoc. I'm also going to follow this uh, process because I've already Pandoc installed on my computer. As you can see here, if I go to the terminal and I open a new terminal, I do Pandoc-B. Then you can see that I've already Pandoc version installed on my computer, which is version 2.14. But just uh, for um, you and for your information, I also will show you how to install Pandoc. So we'd have to go on the Pandoc uh, website. Then you can click here, download the latest installer for Microsoft. Of course, if you're using a Microsoft computer. If you're using a Mac computer, then uh, of course you have to install the other version, the, the version for Mac. Then here I can click OK. I can follow all the steps to install Pandoc which is going to install it, so I accept the terms and agreement and I install for the user. I don't, I'm actually going to install it only for my user, so I'm going to press install. This is going to install the new version of Pandoc. Uh, so you can also follow along with me, if uh, just in case you have issues installing Pandoc. Great, the installation of Pandoc is now complete, so I can click on finish. I should be able to go back to VS Code and write the same command as before into the terminal, pandoc-v, and uh, now I should have uh, version 2.18 installed on my computer. As you can see, here I have version 2.18 installed on my computer. If you want to find out uh, how I'm compiling a latex document uh, with the VS Code, I would suggest you to check out my video. I will put a card here at the top of this video in the top right corner. So just click on that card and it will be redirected to the other video in which I show you how to um, compile a LaTeX document with VS Code. So let me show you very quickly which file we have in um, our uh, folder. And actually let me delete all the other files that are not really necessary. So the file that you're going to need is the main.txt file, the image, because our LaTeX document contains an image. Of course, in your case, you may have more than one image. And then also what you're going to need is the bibliography file. So we just have to keep those three files. So main, uh, the main, which is the name of the text file, and the mountain. I also have a readme that I'm going to keep it. And also have a file to reformat the references. So I will keep that, but I will show you later on that is not really needed. It's just needed if you want to have the IEE formatting, which has numbers. So let me really remove all the different files. Okay, so I've deleted all the files. Here, as you can see, we have the main.txt file, which contains the latex source code, the mountain file, which is a JPEG image. We have the bib file, which I can also show you. It has just bibliography inside. We have the readme which contains uh, all the commands and instructions that we're going to use to build the document. And then we have this file, which is a CSL file, which will allow us to reformat the citations uh, as we want uh, to match the same uh, format that we get uh, in LaTeX. So let me open again VS uh, Code and let me run the first command that this is going to convert the LaTeX document into Word. So the command that we need to use, uh, I've just uh, put it here in the readme. I will copy this command down in the video description later on. And let me just copy this command here into the terminal. Let me explain what I'm doing. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm calling pandoc. Then you need to add this option, site proc. Otherwise, pandoc will not properly compile the reference and you will not be able to see the references in your Word document. Then we also have to include the bibliography. 
So we have dash dash bibliography equal to main.bib, which main.bib is the file which contains all the references. And as you can see here in the paper, in the latex paper, I'm actually referencing one of my documents, I'm citing one of my documents. Then here, this is the name of the file that contains all the latex source code. In my case, I have only one single file, which is called main.txt, which is the file that I'm showing you here on the screen. And then we say from LaTeX, because this is a LaTeX document, to docx. So this is going to be the output of uh, to operate with Microsoft Word. And then we also have to specify the name of the output file. So in this case, we have we are going to say output equal to main.docx. Of course, you can change this file name. You doesn't have to be main. It could also be called paper, for instance. If I run this command, you will, be, you will see that a new file appears here in my folder. Okay, so let me go back to the folder here. So now we have a new Word file, which is called paper. And let me open the file for you. And as you can see, uh, Pandoc did a great job because uh, let me open also the PDF that I've opened before. And as you can see, there are some discrepancies. It's not exactly the same, but overall, I think Pandoc did a great job. So we have the title with the author and uh, the date here. And it's actually even using the right uh, heading because here, as you can see, it has selected the right heading. Then it has automatically uh, put the heading like introduction, background. And I think again, here it has done a quite good job. And also we have also a um, subheading. So here we have uh, main heading, which is introduction. But then uh, inside the introduction, we have background. So uh, um, Pandoc actually did uh, correctly and used it uh, adding two for this. And this is also what we specified in LaTeX. So introduction was a section, but then background was a subsection. We also uh, got the references right. So as you can see here, I'm citing like this document, which is Tartarini. And uh, eventually you can also see the references here, which uh, everything was fine. Then we have uh, math equations, which are rendered uh, properly, almost as in LaTeX. We also have references to sections and figures. So here we are uh, referencing back uh, section one. Let me show you um, the LaTeX code. So here uh, I'm actually referencing the introduction. And as you can see, this was uh, uh, correctly ported into Word. We have math equation and we're also referencing correctly figures. One thing that you can notice uh, is that actually the figure now is uh, rendering in the second page, uh, but all the text uh, is coming after the figure. This is why I believe LaTeX is a little bit better because uh, it optimizes where to put text uh, in Word on the other end, uh, and it just follows the instruction that you gave. So here we have specified that uh, after this text, uh, there was supposed to be the figure. So in Word, uh, it's not going to place this text before the figure as it did in LaTeX, so it just fill up the space here. But in Word, we can only see that this space is now empty. Then we have the caption of the figure, which I didn't specify the caption. Of course, you can notice already here that it doesn't say figure one caption. So this is something that unfortunately you will have to find manually. All the text was correctly rendered. Then we can also see that we have a table. And the table is also fine. The only thing that we need to do is uh, to basically center the table, which is not a big deal because here was centered by default because we specified to be centered the table. So let me go here and we can see that there was centering, but we use centering inside the table uh, environment. So uh, Word and Pandoc were not able to pick that one up, but it's super simple to just move it. And again, the, the, the table we will need to add, uh, like for instance, the, the vertical center line. But I don't think overall is a big problem. The list also was actually rendered properly. So we have an enumerated list and a bullet list. References are also OK. Just keep in mind that if you want this uh, section heading to be rendered properly, in LaTeX, you don't have to use the normal command. So when you print a bibliography, you have to say adding known. And then you have to say uh, create a new unnumbered section, which you can do with the section and then uh, star. And then in within curly braces, uh, you can just put the name of the section. In this case, it's going to be references. 
So I think overall it did uh, a great job. The only thing that actually did not work, and I just wanted to show you for uh, so you know, is when you uh, when I try to use uh, uh, glossaries. So I think uh, a great thing of LaTeX is that you can add uh, glossaries, and every time uh, um, the glossary is defined for the first time, uh, LaTeX will just print out. Uh, all the definition of the glossary and later on in the paper it will just show uh, the abbreviation. Unfortunately, this did not work uh, here in Word because we have say acronym T and acronym T, which didn't really didn't really work unfortunately. But you can see that in LaTeX uh, here I'm defining with the GLST GLST and I'm uh, referring to this acronym here that I've defined uh, here in the um, in the preface of the document. Unfortunately, that did not work. We cannot expect that everything is working because when we are converting a document from LaTeX to Word, there are going to be a few problems like the caption of the figures and the acronym. But I think overall, it did a great job and I think is a satisfying result. One thing that I want to show you how to fix, because this is an easy fix, is how to change the citation style. So at the moment here, it's citing with author, surname, and then date. If you want to keep it consistent with LaTeX, which are using numbers, well, that's pretty simple. We just have to add just one uh, uh, option, additional option, when we run the Pando command. So same as before, the only thing that we need to pass is uh, um, this file, which is ie.csl. This file I have already added here to the project. And basically, it's a way for Pandoc to know how to convert uh, uh, citations from one style to the other style. If you don't want to use this uh, style, but you want to use another style, well, you can look for CSL files online. So you can just look for CSL uh, files. Here, you should be able to find all the different styles. And here you can download them. And uh, here, as you can see, there are. Uh, a lot of way and a lot of files that you can just simply download. So you find the one that you like. Let's say that you like this one. You open the file, you click on Raw, and then you just copy the content of this file inside uh, the file that you have uh, locally. So in this case, I just created a new file, which is ie.csl, and then inside here I copy this text. Let me close Word. So the the, the most important thing is that every time you create a new Word document, you have to close the old one, otherwise you're going to get an issue and um, is, uh, is going to be a problem. Let me close this document here. So I'm going to do actually the same thing. Uh, let me change back to paper, but doesn't really matter. So paper, so we run this command with the option now CSL and IEEE. So let's run this. This is going to create a new document for us. And then as you can see here, we have paper. And then let me open the paper. And as you can see now, the citation style is as we wanted with the IEEE system. I really hope you find this video informative and useful. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel so you will be notified when I release a new video like this one. If you want also, please hit the notification bell. If you also find this video informative, please consider supporting my channel because this is a free channel. I release all the video for free, but I will be very grateful if you could support my channel by buying me a coffee or supporting me on Patreon. More information down in the video description below. If you have any question or any comments, please feel free to add a question down in the comment section below. If you want to find out more on how to use LaTeX, how to compile a LaTeX document with the VS Code or with PyCharm, check my YouTube channel because I have a lot of videos on LaTeX, more than 40, so you will definitely find something that is uh, informative over there. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.